In this problem, we need to determine the equation of a circle whose center has the coordinate 3, comma, negative 1, and it cuts off an intercept of length 8 on the line 2x minus 5y plus 18 equals to 0. So let's try to understand the problem graphically. So we have here a circle with center C and its coordinate is 3, comma, negative 1. Then we have another line 2x minus 5y plus 18 equals to 0. This particular line passes through the circle and the circle inter makes an intercept of length 8. That means if we consider this point to be A and the other point of intersection to be B, then the length of AB is 8 units. Fine. So we need to find out the equation of the circle. Now to find out the equation of the circle, there are two things that we need. It's the information about the coordinate of the center and the radius of a circle. Now we have here with the coordinate of the center, all we need to do is find out the radius of the circle. So how do we find out the radius of the circle? So we will begin by performing a construction first. So we're going to drop a perpendicular from the center C onto the line AB such that it meets the line at point E. So CE is going to be perpendicular to AB. Fine. Now what we'll do here since we have the equation of the line given here, from here we can find out its slope. If we know the slope of this particular line, we can also find out the slope of the perpendicular line. And once we have this slope and we have one coordinate point C, we can use the one point slope form to find out the equation of the line CE. And once we get the equation of that new line CE, we can find its intersection point which will be E with the line 2x minus 5y plus 18 equals to 0. That particular coordinate of point E is going to help us find out the distance CE and once we have the distance CE we can join CB which is going to give us the radius here we can immediately use the Pythagoras theorem to find out the radius and once we finally get the value of radius we will be able to determine the equation of this circle so let us begin so we have our equation of the line so this is given to us the equation of the line is 2x minus 5y plus 18 equals to 0. So what we'll do, we'll rewrite this equation as 5y equals to 2x plus 18. We're going to divide throughout with 5, so we get 2 over 5 times x plus 18 over 5. We are going to compare this particular equation with the slope intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus c. Now here m represents the slope of line. So here we have obtained that the slope of line m is going to have the value 2 over 5. Now using this we can find out the slope of CE. The slope of CE, we know that whenever we have two straight lines that are perpendicular to each other, then the product of their slope, so that means slope of CE and slope of the other line which is m, the product is going to be negative 1. Since we have the value of m, so slope of the line CE, so that's going to be equals to negative 5 over 2. Now we have the slope, we will try to find out its equation. The equation of line C will be using the one point form. Let's quickly go through the one point slope form. It states that if we have a point, let's say with coordinate x1, comma y1, and through this point a line passes which has a slope of m. Then the equation of this line is given by y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. So in a case, we have the point 3, comma, negative 1, and through it passes the line CE, which has got a slope of negative 5 over 2. So from using the one point slope form, we have y minus y1. So here y1 is represented by the y coordinate, which is negative 1. This will be equals to the slope, which is negative 5 over 2, multiply to x minus x1. So our x1 value is going to be 3. Fine. So let's solve this equation. So we have y plus 1. So we have 2 multiplied to y plus 1 equals to negative 5 multiplied to x minus 3. Fine. So get 2y plus 2 equals to negative 5x plus 15. That gives us 5x plus 2y equals to 13. So this is the equation of CE.
that's the equation of the line now that we have the equation of this line ce and we also have equation of the original equation of the line so we can solve them simultaneously and that's going to give us the coordinate of the point e fine let's do that so we have 5y equals to 2x plus 8 so we start with the equation of the original line which is 2x minus 5y equals to negative 18 and we're going to label this as equation number one then we have equation of the line ce that came out as 5x plus 2y equals to 13 that's number two now we're going to solve equation number one and two by using the elimination method first and then we'll use the substitution method which will help us obtain the value of x and y so let's start with equation number one and we're going to multiply each terms with two now that's going to give us 4x minus 10y equals to negative 36 and then we'll take equation number two and multiply it with five which gives us 25x plus 10y equals to 65 now we are going to add these two equation so immediately the 10y and negative 10y cancels out so 25x plus 4x is 29x equals to 65 minus 36 so that's 29 so solving for x we get x equals to 1 now what you can do you can either use equation 1 or equation 2 to find out the value of y so let's use equation number 1 so we have 2 times 1 minus 5 times y equals to negative 18 that gives us 5y equals to 20 so y will be equals to 4 so now we have found out the value of x and y x and y gives me us the coordinate of the point e so coordinate of point e which is x comma y so that comes out as 1 comma 4 now we have the coordinate of the point 1 comma 4 so this is the point 1 comma 4 so we will be using this information to find out the radius of a circle so we originally had the center at 3 comma negative 1 so let's try to find out the value of ce by using the distance formula all we have to do is we'll have to take the square root and underneath the square root first we'll have to take the square of the difference of the x coordinate so that's 3 minus 1 whole square added to it will be the square of the difference of the y coordinate so that's negative 1 minus 4 whole square so that will be equals to so we have 3 minus 1 that's 2 2 squared is 4 plus negative 1 negative 4 gives us negative 5 squaring it gives us 25 so that means we have square root of 29 so that's the value of ce we are given the length of ab as 8 units now the length ab is equals to 8 units but we know for a fact that whenever we drop a perpendicular from the center to a chord ab of a circle then it's going to bisect the chord now that means be is going to be equals to half of a b so that's going to be equals to four unit now we have the length of b e we have the length of c e using pythagoras theorem c b squared which is the radius of the circle square of the radius of the circle that's going to be equals to c e squared plus b e squared so let's use the value c e which is square root of 29 we get its square as 29 plus b value is 4 so its square will be 16 so that gives us 29 plus 16 which is 45 so this is the value of cb squared and cb is nothing but the radius of the circle so we have the radius we'll take the square root on both sides so our radius will be square root of 45 so now we have the information about the radius as well so we have a circle with center 3 comma negative 1 and the radius we found out is equals to square root of 45 now we are ready to find out the equation of the circle for this we're going to use the standard form suppose we have a circle with the coordinate of the center given by hk and the radius r then the standard form of a circle is given by this particular equation x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared equals to r squared now in the case we have obtained that the center which is given by the coordinate h comma k in our case it's given it this is equals to 3 comma negative 1 so this immediately gives us the value of h so h value is 3 and the value of k which is the y coordinate of the center that's negative 1 and we have also obtained the value of the radius so radius came out to be square root of 41 so what we'll do now that we have the information about the center and the radius we can substitute this into our original into our standard form so we have x minus h so h value is 3 
to wave x minus 3 whole squared added to y minus k but k being negative one so we have minus of minus one that makes it positive we have y plus one whole squared equals to square of the radius so that's 45 so this is going to be the standard equation of the circle and the condition that the circle has a center at three comma negative one and a line passes through the circle in such a way that it cuts off an intercept of eight units